from the creator of the award winning documentary series Elementary Genocide 1 and 2 comes the third and last installment Elementary Genocide 3 Academic Holocaust. From kindergarten, everything is designed in the curriculum to murder your psychic abilities, to murder your intellectual possibilities, to murder your creative possibilities, because that is the way the curriculum is designed to keep Africans from developing the capacity to recreate themselves in their communities, in their families, in their institutions by their own hand. Let us remember that the pistol grip of today was that slave grip of yesterday. Let us remember that the handcuffs of today, keep in mind, were the ropes and the shackles of yesterday. Forget that those slave masters of yesterday have become the judges and the prosecutors and the police departments of today. And there are just some things that are not comfortable for white people. They're not comfortable for them to talk about the possibility that Africans were here before the Europeans. The contributions of African people, not just in America, but African people worldwide, is not incorporated into the curriculum. One of the ways that you keep a people oppressed is to not show them their true history. Because if I can make you feel inferior, I can control anything that you do. Black people have bought into white supremacy and they don't know it. It's like instead of fighting the picture of white supremacy or the picture that white supremacy painted of black people, we've accepted it. The oppressor knows that if they put our contributions into the curriculum, if they put our children into the curriculum, put them into the picture, put them into the frame, then we'll tear this thing out the frame. So we as a community have to take hold of the educational process of our children and we have to begin to take our children down that road of ma'at truth and justice and righteousness in order to educate them in a way that they will become productive citizens, not only of the country, but of the world. Well, African liberation has a lot of dimensions. You know, we're talking about one, African peoples all over the world, most of whom are not free to self-determine their lives and their future. Freeing the lands of Africa, freeing the nation states of Africa so that they can self-determine and develop their own industry and their own culture and their own way of life with an economic system that can support them by utilizing the wealth in the ground that is theirs. Most of the education that we're getting now, either on elementary level, junior high, high school, all of the educational systems that we don't own, uh, all of those denigrate all of the accomplishments of African Americans.